What? You... You... Long time no see. Definitely. What, um, you look, um, different since last time I saw you. Have you, like, uh, cut your hair or something? Um, Maybe dyed it? You look different. Yeah, well, I mean, there was circumstances. Mm, what kind of circumstances would that be? Because. Interesting. You, you, you know, you have like, hmm, wait, you have some small spikes on there. You have some, some new, like, things popping out. Like, what happened to you? Well, uh, you could say I kind of, you know, met with a, a little friend. A friend? Yes. What, what kind of friend would this be? Would this be? Like, well, maybe is it like a, a person. Is it like just like a friend? Like, like oh, possibly a, like you know an uh, abyssal kind of you know spooky. A spooky friend. Hmm. Mm, yeah, maybe kind of you know demonic. It's demonic. Hmm. Interesting. Why? Well, what? Why do you look like this, though? You don't look like yourself. Like, what? what's going on? I guess this was part of the gift. See, okay, let me explain myself. Basically, I wanted to be stronger. Met with a old friend. They gave me more power, and I guess it came with enhanced features. More power? Why did you want more power? Well, I don't want to run away anymore. I want to be stronger. I want to be able to fight. Oh, so you want to be a fighter now? Hmm. Interesting. Like, 
is there any fighting fighting types you want going for or is it like just like you just want to be stronger so you can withstand more or what is like what do you want well what are you, what are you going for for one i don't really know how to use these wings so oh yeah that's true if you just got them and you've always been a werewolf type. yeah I mean, mm -hmm. you have wigs. Maybe you could teach me? Possibly. So? Well, sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I thought uh, I thought it wouldn't be now. But sure, um, I guess I don't really, like... I was looking for a silo for some carrots for some work, but since he's not here, I don't really have anything else to do, so... Yeah, let's do some flight training. These... these bad boys. Hmm. Where's okay. a good place? Hmm, what would be a good open-ish place? Hmm. Well, actually, this over here is kind of open, I guess. Okay. So, the first thing the first thing you want to do with these wings will be trying to see if you could feel them all the way to the tips, like so, like you can make like you know the flaps, the flapping, the flaps. When you have to fly. Okay. Um. How do I do if that? You can't that then like you just yeah you just won't fly. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Feel the wings. You gotta feel every little bit of them. Every little, like, scale or feather or. Yeah, feel your wings are. the wings. You gotta feel the wings. <laughs> okay. okay. What? Water. I need water. Okay. I Good think, I think I feel them. You think? I think. Maybe try to like flap your wings for a second. Uh, flap. Just, just like flap your wings. You know? Uh. You see? Oh. See, you you kind of got it already. You have the flap. It doesn't look pretty good. I just need the takeoff. Cool. Yeah, yeah. When when you want to take off, you basically you want to take that that feel and enhance it like a lot. Enhance you, like, you wanna, it. You want to you want to put in the will that you want to lift off. You want to get weightless. You know. Weightless. Okay. You get the idea, but okay. Like. Like, think of yourself in your mind. You wanna, you wanna get off the ground. Get you off wanna, you wanna, the ground. Yeah. Okay. As well as like flapping your wings, you have to remember to flap your wings, or you might just end as a pancake on the ground. Because I don't want to be a pancake. Okay. Gravity. One. Two. One. Three. Go. Oh! Ow. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You know, wait. When you like fly, try to seek upwards yeah okay <laughs> or else you'll crash yeah up like up that. up that think good. yeah like a bird think up think like a balloon think like a bird think like air like you're l you're as light as a feather you can fly why does you want to fly and you know you can and you will believe in yourself Okay. Second time's the charm. One, two, three. Oh, I'm doing it! I'm flying! I'm doing it. Oh no, how do I land? Oh no. Uh oh. Uh oh. oh. I'm okay. <laughs> you good? Yeah. I landed in the snow. Okay. Kind of. <laughs> True. So the snow is kind of like a pillow, so I guess you'll be okay. So, for landing sequences, you what you want to do is like you want to try to go low, but not too low, or else you'll yeah crash yourself. 
what you want to do is like when you get to the ground you want to flap your wings like just an extra like a little more until you land so like you get a pressure with the air to the ground so you don't like just make a flop and that okay won't be good if you get my drift yeah <laughs> like like come up here if you can do that again uh. all right so you see now now we're just flying around you're just doing a normal flapping sweet sequence right mm-hmm what what do you want to do? It's like you want to go low to the ground, but not too low, and then you just want to do an extra flop and then try to land on your feet. Oh, almost. But that and wasn't as rough. Low, I assume. Try to make the landing from a little higher. Yeah. Like okay. if you take yourselves your own height, add the half to it, and that's around where how low you should be for landing to okay. make a good landing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know, oh. <laughs> it'd be better if I didn't land in the cold water. <sighs> yeah, water in general, just not pleasant for these wings. No. Because, you know, it gives you extra weight, and we don't like that. No. No. So, come on, try again. You One. know you can do this. I got you gotta this. You believe in yourself. Running start. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Landing, 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 landing. That was smooth. Yep. That was pretty good. So. I think I got this. This isn't too bad. It'll take a little bit of time, but... Everything takes time. Yeah. Because you, you, you can't just learn anything just, just in a second. Like, it takes... Everything takes time. So, yeah. But at least now you got the basis of flying put in. So yeah. No, yeah. Um, uh, one more thing. Welcome. Yes. What about uh, swords? Hmm, fighting. I see. Well, uh, I don't. I don't. Uh, no, we don't have any test dummies here besides trees, so that's not fun. Well. So, what do you want to do? You want to take the sword. When you use a sword, because, you know, a sword is kind of heavy if you don't wield it correctly. When you're, like, fighting someone with a sword, you want to put everything into your sword and become one with the sword. Become because one what with is the happening, sword. like, when you swing? You gotta, you like, you gotta swing really well to get a really hard push upon your opponent. Even though, even if you don't hit them, you hit their sword, it would at least, it gives friction into their hands so they get hurt. So that's good. Hmm. But like, you gotta feel the blade, you know? Feel you gotta put the blade. You everything into your blade. Like, you wanna become one with your blade. Become one so with the blade. So you know, you know where, where, you, ugh, I can't, ugh. All this, all this explanation, like, making me mumble, wow. What do you wanna do? You want to take your sword, like, when you want to swing at your opponent, you want to get a really big swing to get the weight on it. So, like, like if I come from over all like, swing from my sword from all the way over here and smack your sword, it will give, like, you know, it will hurt your wrist a little because of the friction. And that's really good, because that means that your opponent cannot do the same thing to hurt you. Right. Yeah. Swing try, hard. Try, try. Be like, one with the sword. Swing the sword. You want to swing the sword okay. towards your opponent. And not just swing it with your arm itself. You want to swing it with like the whole body okay. to get that whole extra body. weight the sword. Okay. I got this. Ha! Is that good? Try. Well, that was mostly with just your arm. You want to do it like with your whole body. Like whole, body. Swing your whole body. Okay. Doing it. Whole body. Yeah. Better? Not bad. Not bad. That's definitely better. Like, I don't feel. I don't see that you're feeling your sword. You would want to become one with your sword when you do it. To wield it. To really 
like no you gotta know your sword like it's your best friend or like your partner you could say okay feel the sword become one with the sword feel the sword one with the sword ha a lot better a yeah lot better, definitely, definitely and then at the last thing that you definitely want to do you want to put your soul into the sword like like it has a life too so like when you hit it you don't just hit it just because you want to but because the sword wants to as well like you really want to do damage to the other person or to whatever you're hitting at to the to the prey or to to the evil person or just a general fight a good fight is not good if you don't have everything into the fight. Right. Okay. Soul with the sword. Be the sword. Become one with the sword. Yeah. That felt good. It looked good. I got this. I'm going to be stronger. Well, of course. You're having help from one of the better ones, you could say. <laughs> Is there anything else you want to learn before, like, I will go and work on some stuff? Or is there... Or was that just that and you want to train by yourself? Or what is now? I, I think I got this. Thanks for all I of your help. Well, I guess you're welcome. I will, like, you know, recommend to train quite a bit because the more self-experience you have, the more advantage you can have. Like, with flying, you could have advantage with, like, taking sharp corners to get rid of somebody flying after you or something, which is pretty good. As well as sword wielding, you gotta train to, like, maybe make some unique moves that your opponent will not know, so you have an advantage over them. Right. You could even, like, take up a double su sword dueling. Like, you have a twin sword. Twin so you have one sword. In both hands. That is also very, very effective. Okay. Or you could be like me. You can have some fire magic powers that is very, very, very helpful. Wait. I don't have any magic. How'd you get magic? I kind of studied a bit to learn something different, which is why I can do this. Whoa. Fire. How, how long did the studying take? A few years. Oh. Four, three, four, three to four years-ish to learn, so course it, it takes it takes some time because you gotta you gotta f like put all the stuff into it you gotta learn you gotta feel you gotta find all the materials that takes forever but uh, yeah okay. it, it can definitely be done <laughs> all right guess i got a lot of studying to do <laughs> well if it's what you want to wield then of course all right well thanks for everything Anytime.